How can you lower your tax bill when the April 15th deadline is fast approaching and the year you're filing taxes for is already in the rearview mirror? All right, just to be clear, you're in the new year. It's not April 15th yet, and you're trying to figure out a way to cut taxes. <laughs> you get credit or blame for most things in life when you do them. That's usually the case when it comes to taxes. Whatever you do in a particular tax year counts for that tax year. Once the new year rolls around, it's game over. If you didn't make your money or tax move by December 31st, it's too late. But there is a lifeline, a potential tax reducing lifeline that may be a play. And even though you make it in the new year, it still counts for the prior tax year, as long as you make it by the tax filing deadline. It's as simple as an IRA contribution a contribution to an individual retirement account, or for you gag sticklers, that's government acronym generator. It's officially individual retirement arrangement. For tax year 2023, you can sock away $6,500 into an IRA. If you're just hitting your stride, age 50 and older, you can add another $1,000 for a $7,500 total. In 2024, those limits rise to $7,000 for the youngsters and $8,000 for the experienced. And remember, we're talking about this year's contributions counting for last year, as long as you make them by April 15th. We're not talking SEP IRAs, that's Simplified Employee Pension, which small businesses and self-employed folks may use. They get the tax deadline plus extensions. We're talking traditional IRAs and potential deductions here. April 15th is the hard stop. By the way, it's the same for Roth IRAs, but no deduction there. The amount you contribute reduces your taxable income right off the top, as long as you qualify. Yes, qualify. If you make too much money in the eyes of the IRS, you can put this deductible contribution back to bed and go back to binging Reacher. How much is too much? Here's the details. All right, first things first, if you've got a job and have some income, you can always make a contribution to an IRA. For our purposes, the question becomes, is that contribution deductible? Meaning, can I deduct it from my taxable income so I pay less taxes? If you don't have a retirement plan at work, green light. You can deduct the full contribution. Unless, and there's always an unless, Unless your spouse has a retirement plan at work. Then we go to the table. For the 2023 tax year, if your modified adjusted gross income is less than $218,000, you can take a full deduction. If it's over $228,000, game over. No deduction. Somewhere in the middle, it's a partial deduction. That range jumps to $230,000 to $240,000 in 2024. If you're single and have a retirement plan at work, you can take a full 2023 deduction if your income is less, less than $73,000. Make more than 83 grand and you're shut out. And you get star trekked in between, phased out, stunned. Unless you're married. Then the limits bump up a little. You're good up to $116,000 before the phase out range kicks in and cuts you off at $136,000. The limits rise a little bit for 2024. All right, some things to consider. Just because you're eligible for an IRA deduction, should you take it? Maybe you're in a lower tax bracket now and the deduction, let alone the actual tax savings, isn't really that much. Would it be better to contribute to a Roth IRA, forego the deduction, and never, never pay taxes later when you anticipate being in a higher tax bracket? If you're over the income limits to qualify for a Roth IRA, you may still want to make a non-deductible contribution to a regular IRA or traditional IRA as they're called, and then convert it to a Roth IRA later. There's a little backdoor strategy involved there, and we'll address that another time. If you're trying to save on taxes by making a deductible IRA contribution that counts for last year before April 15th, here's what to remember. If you're not covered by a retirement plan at work, the IRA contribution is fully deductible. 
if you're not covered by a retirement plan at work, but your spouse is, your deductibility starts to phase out at $218,000 of modified adjusted gross income and goes completely away at $228,000 of income. If you're both covered at work, phase out starts at 116 grand and it's game over at $136,000. If you're single, the phase out range is 73 dollars to $83,000. I'm not giving you specific tax advice or investment advice, and you shouldn't take any from some guy on the internet or YouTube. I don't know you or your situation, although you seem very nice. Consult with your tax advisor to see if this is the right move for you. And we'll see you in the next video.